So Leonardo has added a new feature called as Live Canvas, but you have no idea how to use it, but well, you are at the right place. Let's begin our video right away. We're gonna launch the app and start creating some awesome drawings with Live Canvas. On the main page, we have this option Live Canvas New. It says new because this is a new feature. And here is where the magic happens. First of all, you have to write a prompt. So give it a nice prompt of whatever you're gonna generate. For example, we're gonna create a Goku picture from Dragon Ball Z, so I'm gonna write. So I am going to generate Goku with a t-shirt or a street style wear. And we're gonna give him a nice outlook with our drawings. So first of all, let's try creating the face. Like we have his face somewhere in a V shape, like that. Then we have the eyes. It is already looking neat, but we wanna give it a nice smile as well. So we will create a nice smile there. And you can also change the color. You can already see the facial expressions are changing a little bit, like he's having a smile there. If you think you have messed up, you can also erase it with the eraser tool, because that was an example to show you how this tool works. But now let's go ahead and create the actual artwork. So what do we have with Goku is that we have a nice hairstyle. With Super Saiyan, we have a golden color. So let's go ahead and select our brush tool here. So let's try creating his hairstyle here. And now that we have the hairstyle, now we need eyebrows and the eyes, so we're gonna generate them. And then we have the green color for the eyes, so we will have that as well as small dots. Let's add his face. And here we can add a nice smile to him as well as a facial expression. Right now we're missing one crucial aspect and that is his Super Saiyan hair. So let's go ahead and add yellow Super Saiyan hair. And now we have that as well, looking cool. We can go ahead and generate his body and then we have a nice street style t-shirt so we will add a red color t-shirt for that and as you can see we have some sort of a street style for the back of his shirt like we have generated a sort of an art on the shirt as well here of course our drawing does not look as good but you can tell that the image is looking much better now what we can actually do we can click on this instant refine button here and what this will do, this will convert this picture into a much higher quality output. And we can also go ahead and generate something entirely new. So let's go ahead and remove this drawing from here. We can increase the size of the brush. And now let's try something else. Like what are we going to generate this time? We are already getting a nice artwork with just our prompt. But what we're going to do is give it some nice touches for the character. We're going to generate our face. So we need a new character, different from Batman. We don't want his mask. As we have written here, we need a custom character. So we're gonna start with creating his face first of all. I'm not really that good a drawer, so do mind that I don't have the best abilities when it comes to drawing. Now that we have removed the Batman from the beginning, we have gotten a completely different style of theme. Instead, we have some sort of a Superman type of character, but he's looking completely different. So let's go ahead and give him a nice black mask over the eyes and let's see what that does here. We have gotten a black mask as we can tell. We can also go ahead and add some touches to the mask like we can give him a nice round corners and we can also go ahead and add some red color. It is already looking so much better. Now let's go ahead and add something in the background. We want some vibrant colors like purple. So let's go ahead and add something to that. Now we are getting some interesting drawing with street style and a custom superhero character just like we can see here. Now let's go ahead and add something else to the face. I think it is already looking really neat. Instead of the Superman on the chest, I would like a different type of a logo. So I'm going to create a custom logo here. Let's see if that understands our requirement. And we will be generating something similar to a Alan Walker style. And here we have a different sort of a logo than Superman and it clearly understood our requirement when we tried to generate this drawing here. Now let's go ahead and refine this character and see what we come up with. Now we can actually look at it with our personal feed if we just give it a refresh on the page. And there we have our DC Universe style character. And now we will see the refined results if we just wait a bit for the Alchemy Refiner to load up. And this is how the smooth version of the drawing looks like, which is completely insane. Like just look at this image, we can even go ahead and upscale it using these tools. I think this has done an amazing job. Leonardo has created something absolutely stunning. Let us know down in the comments what do you guys think. 
I really hope you enjoyed watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.